Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today Apple has released the first 10.0.x update, being iOS 10.0.2, to the general public. And in today's video, we're going to go over the features and changes of 10.0.2, as well as how it may impact the development and subsequent release of the next jailbreak utility, and whether you should update to iOS 10.0.2. All right, before we begin, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, because not only is this info incredibly important for those who are interested in jailbreak, breaking, but I'm also going to give away a new iPhone 7 soon, so again, thumbs up for that as well. Now this is just going to be a pretty straightforward and basic video, so we're going to get straight into it. First of all, talking about the changes of 10.0.2. All right, so bringing this iPhone 7 Plus over, we're going to go inside of Settings General and then followed by Software Update, and you will notice that we do have a brand new update listed here, iOS 10.0.2, and it states, quote, iOS 10.0.2 fixes bugs and improves the stability of your iPhone or iPad, and then it says this update and includes these three bullet points. So number one addresses an issue that could prevent headphone audio controls from temporarily not working, specifically when connected over the lightning port. So when using the new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, and it also resolves an issue that caused photos to quit for some users when turning on iCloud Photo Library, and finally fixes an issue that prevented enabling some app extensions. Now it's only 88.2 megabytes in size over iOS 10.0.1, at least for this iPhone 7 Plus model. So that's really it. iOS 10.0.2 was issued to fix a few things, most notably that headphone issue. That was a big one, and Apple said pretty much day one following the release of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus that they were going to issue this update as soon as they possibly could. So instead of waiting for iOS 10.1 to drop, they rushed iOS 10.0.2. As most of you know, 10.1 went into beta earlier this week as well on Wednesday. I actually created an in-depth video that goes into the the topic of iOS 10.1. Definitely check it out. I'll have it linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. Now iOS 10.0.2 almost certainly includes other small and minor bug fixes. Let me know down below in the comment section if you happen to notice any bugs on iOS 10.0.x, specifically after you update to iOS 10.0.2 if you plan to. Now I happen to notice just from updating to iOS 10.1 on this iPhone 7 Plus, so that way I could test the awesome new shallow depth of field effect for the dual camera setup. The bug where you had to actually 3D touch on a notification to then be able to interact with it has now been fixed. Previously, if I'd get a notification, it doesn't matter whether it was for messages or from another application such as tap -a talk and I wanted to tap on it to have it take me to that application instead of having to 3D touch on it so that way it expanded the notification. It would only work maybe two times out of 10 tops. Now in iOS 10.1, it works all of the time, so we can also probably expect that inside of iOS 10.0.0 to as well. Again, just let me know if you notice any other bugs in the comments section. All right, so now let's get into iOS 10.0.2 and how it may impact jailbreaking before we delve into whether you should update to today's new firmware, which by the way, was released approximately one week after the first public iteration of iOS 10 being 10.0.1. If you happen to miss my coverage on the day one iOS 10 update, definitely check it out. I will have it linked down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. It goes into all of the features of iOS 10 and kind of what we can expect from jailbreaking, again, day one and a possible release timeframe of a brand new jailbreak utility for iOS 10.x in general. So today's release, thankfully, because it was so close to iOS 10's initial public release, means that it doesn't hinder the development of the next untethered jailbreak. In fact, it doesn't even fix anything from a security standpoint. However, iOS 10.1, on the other hand, is a different story entirely. See, developers want to wait for the the latest possible version of iOS before pushing out a new jailbreak so that way their work doesn't go to waste. It was the exact same thing with the iOS 9.3.x jailbreak from Pangu. They were insistent upon waiting for a stabilized version of iOS 9.3.x before pushing out a jailbreak so again that way it didn't go to waste. The same thing's going to happen this time around. We already got one update to actually address and improve stability of iOS in general and 10.1 does add a pretty substantial
special feature, at least for the iPhone 7 Plus, that dual camera shallow depth of field effect. So Pengu is almost certainly going to wait for iOS 10.1 to drop before releasing a new jailbreak, unless, and this is a pretty big caveat, iOS 10.1, even in its beta form, closes the exploit or exploits that they're utilizing to achieve a jailbreak in their testing stages. Because of course, Pengu is working behind the scenes currently as we speak right now, developing a new jailbreak utility. Remember, they're the primary jailbreakers on the scene right now, and they are going to release the next jailbreak. Unless Taiji throws us a surprise, but we should keep our attention toward Pengu. They've released the last three jailbreaks, and they've also released the last two jailbreaks for major releases, being iOS 8 and iOS 9 in general. Again, the first jailbreaks for those firmwares. So today's iOS 10.0.2 almost certainly doesn't affect jailbreaking, since Pengu is most likely going to wait for iOS 10.0.2 one anyway. So should you update? Well, see, this is where I'm going to kind of pull myself away from the situation, just kind of give you guys the facts so that way you can make the informed decision on your own. Remember, I don't want to tell you guys to update in case something happens like what happened with iOS 9.1 and Pangu has passed along another exploit and they actually used said exploit to release a new jailbreak, an updated version of the original iOS 9.0.x jailbreak using that new exploit that they got from Loki Hearts. They didn't do the work required to fully create a new jailbreak for iOS 9.1. If that kind of thing happens this time around, I don't want to be held responsible for telling you guys to update, but they almost certainly won't release a new jailbreak until iOS 10.1 drops, and seeing as 10.0.2 is just a minor firmware that actually improves a few bugs here and there, I definitely am going to be updating my own devices, and in fact, I'll even go beyond that and update to iOS 10.1. Because remember, you can always go back from a beta firmware if by some miracle a jailbreak is released before 10.1 drops. However, I will say this, if you do want to update your device to iOS 10.0.2, I do not recommend doing it via the settings application. Instead, I recommend connecting your device to your computer and doing it inside of iTunes. That way, if and when a new jailbreak is released, your device will be significantly less laggy because you will have a clean update, so to speak, and in general, I found that when updating through iTunes, my devices are less laggy and less prone to lag in general. So I always recommend updating the old fashioned or the traditional method just via the computer. Now, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things in the world of jailbreaking, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. I'm going to keep you completely covered absolutely every step of the way. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates, links to everything below. And I really do recommend watching these two videos here if you want more analysis on the current situation of things and kind of a general time frame of when to expect the release of a new jailbreak. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.